there guys, welcome back to Kids Tech here and in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how to play any PS4 game on your Android device so this is like GTA 5 or 9, Call of Duty Ghosts, um, Drive Club, anything like that I'll literally be showing you guys how to play that on your mobile device so um, all you have to do is go to the link in the description Okay, so when you click on the um, download link, it will take you to this page here. So you basically just want to scroll all the way down to the bottom. And download the very last link here, which is Invisible Buttons Zippy Share. So the one underneath Zippy Share, you click that one and you just basically download it on, on your device. This can work for um, iOS, Android and even tablets. So once it's downloaded, um, the next step is basically to turn on your PS4. You don't need to be near it, just make sure your PS PS4 is turned on, just for this connection part. And then um, once it's on, just um, open up the app. After this, guys, I'll be showing you how to um, play with the games with your PS4 controller. Okay, so don't worry about the register thing, just skip that, um, and then press next. So basically guys, um, you just want to connect to your PS4. So you basically just want to open up the app, and um, once you do that, press next, and it will just be connecting your Android device, whatever it is, to your PS4. Sorry about the background noise guys, it's my guinea pigs, they're being so loud right now. I don't know why. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so as you can see, I'm on my PS4 home screen. Um, there are buttons that you can play with. I find it easier to use the controller, but it's completely up to you guys. So basically, whatever games you have on your PS4, you can play that on any device. So I've got PES 2017, so I can play PES 17, Infinite Warfare, Battlefield 1, and GTA 5, which is what I'm going to be playing right now. So I'm basically just going to open up the app and play on it, and I want to play online so that you can see it's actually legit. It is a little bit glitchy, as you can see, but that's because of, like our internet connection, connection isn't that good. If you've got a really strong connection, um, then it shouldn't be glitching as much. But um, it is a little bit glitchy, so I'm hoping that maybe the modders can probably, um, like, update that and change it up and make it a bit better. But um, not to complain, we just want to thank them for that for this anyway. But as you can see, I'm just loading into the session right now. And I'm in GTA 5 online. Um, I don't know why my character has a parachute on her back when she's meant to have a duffel bag. Yeah, basically, just playing GTA 5 online. Mad. Yeah. Sorry about the glitchiness, though, guys. And as you can see, I'm still on my tablet. That's proof right there. And I'm playing GTA 5 online, so this is definitely not bullshit. Okay, guys. So, simply to connect your controller to your um, tablet or Android or iPhone, you basically need to hold down the PlayStation button and the share button and just hold that down. Until it starts flashing like this. Once it does that, hop onto your device. Go to settings. Then go to Bluetooth. And you'll see wireless controller. For it to connect to your PS4.
Sometimes it can take a while depending on how good your internet connection is. And there you go. As you can see, I'm on my PS4 right now. Um, so if I just feel like playing Call of Duty Infinite Warfare, just click on that. Oh wait, I need the disc. Hang on a sec. Let me just go on to like PES 2017. And I'm playing PES 2017. So anyway, I hope this video was helpful to you guys in any way. And if you enjoyed it, make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. Leave a like. And subscribe to our main channel, KissHD. Link will be down in the, in the description below. Um, but yeah, thanks guys for watching. Make sure you share this video to all your friends. KissHD out.